looks like you bought yourself some time today, mate. The 220 for Mooball has run a bit late today. The infamous Jackson Hiverwhite, eh? The boss sure wants you gone. You must be some sort of serial pest. Mitch of Benson craving to give you the two two chop so quickly. And what a pleasure it is to meet you. Ponter, is it? This is what we call a wet willy. May I recommend you take that filthy swine finger of yours out of my ear if you want to keep it? Yeah, my name is Hunter. Well, Mr. Hunter, would it be acceptable to have a swallow of whiskey from that bottle of yours? As the late 220 to Mubal makes its way down the trucks to give me, how do you say, the choo choo chop? Simple no would have been sufficient. You know there's a rumour down south that tobacco is unhealthy for one's well-being. That's bullshit. What is it you've done to piss Mr. Benson off so much to send you straight to the rail line? I caught him making love to one of his horses. <laughs> you talk like that, it's going to make your time left on this darn country a whole lot worse. I robbed his courage. It was making his way from its station to the Union Bank in Sydney. I took it all, put it in a chest, hid it in the woods. I declined to tell him where. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, what's in this chest anyway? A bag of potatoes. <laughs> what difference does it make now? Bit of a comedian, aren't you, Hebel White? I'm just trying to laugh my way off these trucks. You know many jokes? A couple? Well, tell me one funny enough and I might let you off this rail. What sort of jokes you like? Knock knock? No. Something that's going to make me laugh all the way to the bank. If I tell you where the chest is, will you let me loose off these trucks? Yeah. Yeah. Not far from here. Half a mile down the trucks, in the woods, the tallest tree you can see, it's there in the ground. Under a pile of rocks. All right, Willie. Let me loose! Let me loose! Just buried. Oh shit. Sounds like your train for Moogle is right on time. Is 
Is this what you call a wet willy?